Okay, welcome to another episode of Kelly's Corner. Uh, today I'm just going to take you through my process a little bit. Um, so, uh, most of my ink drawings that you see... Uh, I'm just trying to like grab a random one. Like, so, that I'm working on. Or... So that I'm working on. Uh, they all come from like sketches that I rip out of my sketchbook. So if I flip this over, you can see it was from a sketch that was ripped out. Um, sorry, I just ripped it off. So what I have today, I'm going to uh, take you through the whole process. Um, so this is like a creepy like face that I made in my sketchbook. Uh, as you can see, it was sketched on grid paper, which I like. Uh, I don't know why I like it. I guess it makes like more structure when you're sketching, so you can see like your lines are straight and stuff. Anyway, uh, and sorry, uh, and it's kind of a creepy sketch. So just to have something to like ramble about when I'm drawing, I'm gonna talk about my fears and phobias. Um, Trigger warning for thalassophobia, automatonophobia. Uh, yeah, it should be up. So we got our sketch here um, that I've ripped out. Uh, now I'm gonna flip it over because, like, when you flip it over, you can see like the mistakes in it. It looks mostly okay. I'm gonna like shave the chin down a tiny bit <sighs> I'm having trouble with ears lately I feel like they're too big or they just look in a weird spot this frown too I feel like the picture would be creepy if like the expression was more neutral because like the holes in the head uh, trigger warning for is it trypophobia? So we'll just do like a little edit there. Maybe even like like a borderline happy expression would be creepier. Anyway, so we got our little edits made, so I'll pay attention to those when I do my final. Um, so I'm going to get my paper. This is the paper that I've been using for my drawings lately. It is delightful. It is Stonehenge Warm White. Uh, one second, let me grab the package. Shout out to Cab who made a... Uh, Ooh, you tell. Ooh. Okay, so we have our sketch and we have our paper. We're going to tape it down using masking tape. Once we have our position, I don't like the masking tape to be wrinkled because it might uh, shag up your inking. Okay, now we have our light box. It's a, a, a Huion. Sorry for my creaky chair. And then we're going to grab our. Is it too bright? Okay. Uh, these pens have been really good for me over the last couple of years. It is the Unipin. I'm so sorry, I can't see. Uh, Unipin fine liner with the brush tip. Yeah, I really like. 
They kind of give me the freedom of brush and ink without... the work, I guess, because you don't have to like pour the ink out and so on. And clean your brushes and yeah, so these pens... Pants. These pens have been really good. I do find when you draw a couple of pictures with them though, they're not, uh, like they, uh, they don't stay like super sharp. They're kind of only sharp, like the first few drawings you make. So this is a, a new one. When I get a new one, I put like a bit of tape on it. I don't know if you can see that. So it's like, this is a new one. So that's my little signal to myself. I try to do like the general kind of big shapes in the image first and then I go in and kind of fill in the details. So, uh, I don't have many fears and phobias and it's not super extreme. Like some people like their phobias kind of like wreck their life or whatever. Um, the last th thalassophobia is like fear of deep water and like big open deep water. And it doesn't like, I'll still, it doesn't stop me going swimming and stuff like that. But like when I see images of uh, big, vast oceans and like underwater footage of like big ocean emptiness, like it, it, like it, like it just, it, it just makes me sick. It makes like my stomach drop. Like if you're on a a roller coaster. Um, and the first time I realized this was in 2015. I was in lucky enough to be in Australia and I was going tubing, which is where you're kind of attached to, you're, you're in an inner tube that's attached to like a speedboat. Um, <laughs> And the speedboat like pulls you along really fast and then it takes a sick turn and like flings you into the water. And we were in, uh, I'd say maybe like tw 20 or 30 feet of water and I was <laughs> like flicked off the inner tube going, I don't know, like 20 kilometers. I don't know how fast the speedboat goes. It was, it was like, a, it wasn't a big boat, but it was like a boat. And uh, flung me, and then I was like, I had a life jacket on and stuff, but I was just like floating in the water, and like you, c and I couldn't see what was under me, and I got like, ooh, like I, I was like, I got a really uncomfortable feeling, and I got chills, and I was like, ooh. Anyway, I was very happy to get on the boat. They, they, they swing around and come get you, obviously. Um, yeah. I don't like big, deep water. A lot of my, I don't have nightmares that often, but a lot of my nightmares feature like, I'm in a very, very, very deep pool and there's like whales in the pool with me. And I'm just like looking beneath me and seeing like whales come up towards me or like strange shapes in the water. I think, I wonder if it's cause, that never occurred to me before, but I wonder if it's cause like I'm a, on an island province and like, uh, like there's like a, f obviously a big fishing industry here and 
once in a while you hear like a you know a sad report about somebody uh, drowning. There's a lot of like ocean mishaps and tragedies. Maybe that's it, or maybe that's part of it. Yeah, big ocean is too big. It's too big and too deep, and the you know the creatures on the bottom of the ocean. are very beautiful and fascinating, but really terrifying. Uh, number two, I didn't know what this term was, so I had to look it up. It's auto, auto, mat, a, auto, matonophobia? Automaton, automatonophobia. Anyway, it's a fear of like um, dolls and mannequins and 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 uh, oh my god, what do you call them? Like dummies, androids also fall into that category. It's like stuff that's not. It's like it's not quite human. Ooh, oh my god, it, it, ooh, like it gives me shivers and everything. I can't stand it. Uh, around Halloween, especially, I really like listening to, like, or reading, like, skinwalker stories and stuff like that. Stuff that's, like, it, like, want, it's like that uncanny valley thing, right? It's like, it wants to be human, but it's not. Ooh. There's some, I don't trust it. I don't trust them. There's something about them. What are they up to? Those creepy mannequins. Ugh. Ugh. I hate any kind of story where, like, a mannequin is, like, you know, you look back and it's in a different spot or something. Ooh. I don't I hope this little fly is not too loud. I think, I don't know. I think it's better than, like, just working in silence. I'm trying to think of like movies that had like not quite humans. Vivarium I really liked, even though it was like really, really depressing. But the it had like aliens in it who were like masquerading as hum as humans. And the way they interacted with the real humans. It's like they didn't quite understand how to behave, and it just came off really off-putting. Like, what? Anyway. Uh, oh my gosh, I watched a video on this recently. Uh, what is it called? Discordant Affects. It's like... Um, it's like your expressions and stuff, and they don't match like what should be happening. Like, if you're talking about something really terrible, but you're smiling. Or if, or if you have a certain expression, but it's like frozen on your face. And, uh, stuff like that, like, uh, kind of makes humans uneasy. Oh, and that that Goosebumps episode with the dummy, was it Slappy? Oh, mortified. I hope you, I hope you can see this. Uh, like when I'm actually inking. Yeah, this brush is great, eh? These uh, pens. They're like two, two bucks each or like two fifty each, depending on like... I haven't actually found them in a store. I have to order them online, which is kind of annoying. This is, uh, the holes thing makes me a bit grossed out, but... 
uh, it, it doesn't uh, sound like a phobia of mine. But I, under, I think it like, I think it grosses out our lizard brain because like when you see like little holes and stuff, it's like what is in the hole? That's my theory. I think I, I think I've seen that online. Sorry, my mouth is a bit dry. <laughs> I don't like those videos, or those pictures, I don't know if they're photoshopped, where it's like a hand or something, or like a foot, and it's got like a ton of holes in it. Ooh. I don't know the word for this, and it's not exactly a phobia, but something I find really effective in horror movies, or like, I don't know, like psych psychological thrillers, or like scary movies, is when there's something in your line of sight, but it's too far away from you to see what it is. And it's and it's coming towards you, like right towards you. What whatever kind of visual cue that is. Ooh. It ha <laughs> it happened in like uh, in the Goosebumps, like remember the Haunted Mask episode where all the masks were like floating at her. Ooh, and uh, just like. Looking at looking at something and it's that far away that you don't know what it is, but you like you have like a threat <laughs> response. I really don't like that. Especially if it's like in a movie and it's like in the center of the the screen or whatever. Shout out to filmmakers, like and animators, I guess, as well. Ooh, this just gave me some uh, Junji Ito vibes. Uh, kind of like the spiral where like her face was caving in. I can't think of any other my fears or phobias. I can't tell if these eyebrows should be higher or not. And now, like, this eyebrow to me looks, like, way too low. Huh. And every now and again, I flip over the sketch, and, like, I can even, like... <laughs> peel the sketch back and see the one underneath, like, how it's going, and be like, oh, I should change that, or, like, oh, I should, like, adjust that. Um. I feel like like scary movies are scarier when they don't give you any reprieve from the scary thing that's happening. Like jump scares, it's just like, wow, and then it's over. But when they kind of like just leave you there in the movie to deal with the scary thing.
try that. And the great thing about these sketches is like if I screw this one up, like the ink that I'm doing, I can use the sketch again. And in fact, I do that a lot. If I like a sketch that I made, I can uh, reuse it. I can even like, like say I wanted to make a painting of this image, like instead of a drawing. So take off the sketch, use it again. Innovation. This kind of reminds me of my, like, barnacle girls I did. Like, there's a weird v virus happening that's, like, hijacked the brain. Looking like Swiss cheese. Yeah, and uh, these Unipin pens, you can watercolor over them once they're dry. Yeah, they're great. It's kind of in the middle of a felt, felt tip and a... Like a... Like, like a... Like a... Like a brush pen. But I find like... I find like when you use like Micron uh, brush pens... Like they're really good for the first time you use them and then they get like hairy. Not sure what hairstyle this is. If I make a mistake uh, while I'm doing these, I have like uh, kind of little tricks to uh, cover it up. Um, I should make another video on that and like explain it a bit. Does this mouth look okay? Okay, I'll try it. Crap, I don't think these eyebrows are very even. At all! Is it even at all? Uh, that's a bit better. I always find it hard to make uh, 
eyes like looking straight ahead kind of that's why most of my eyes are like looking off to the side Even that looks a bit, uh... Hmm. It's annoying too, cause like, if I'm filming, I'm looking in the phone, I can see, I can see like, oh, that doesn't look right. But like in real life, <laughs> it's hard to see. <laughs> okay, I can always like, uh, fix it up afterwards. Oh, I don't know if I should make like blank eyes or kind of like anime eyes. I'm gonna try that. See, I, I'm gonna try that thing I see people doing sometimes. Oh, when they're making like kind of anime eyes. Okay, uh, like that. I think this eyebrow should be up, up more. Shoot. Oh, these also come in a chisel tip, but I had to order them from China. Chisel! This is a big chunk. This is the number three, but the number one is really good. Yeah, the eyebrow isn't really ma ma matching the eye. This eyebrow is just getting th thicker and thicker. Um, that's good enough for now. I'll, uh, I'll put some watercolors on it now in a bit. Alright, thanks for watching and listening to me ramble. Uh, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.